Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel Gupta's Chemistry Classes. Today our topic is available chlorine of the bleaching powder. Available chlorine of the bleaching powder. Before going to that, what is the formula of bleaching powder? CaOCl2. In this, calcium 2 plus ions, chloride ions, hypochlorite hypochlorite ions present. Now we can consider it as mixed salt of calcium hydroxide base and two acids hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid. Next. Now because of this hypochlorite ion hypochlorite ion ClO- this bleaching powder has oxidizing property. As a result, it has bleaching property and a disinfecting property. At present, government using the sodium hypochlorite Na plus ClO minus hypochlorite only for sanitization of the public areas. Why? Because it is disinfectant. No? So that's why. That hypochlorite only present in this bleaching powder also. Now, come to available chlorine. When bleaching powder reacts with the excess of dilute acids, then chlorine gas will be liberated. For example, when bleaching powder reacts with the excess of dilute sulfuric acid, calcium sulfate and chlorine liberated. Next, when bleaching powder reacts with the excess of hydrochloric acid, then also chlorine liberated. Next, when bleaching powder reacts with excess of acetic acid, then also chlorine gas liberated. Now, this chlorine liberated, this chlorine liberated is called available chlorine, is called available chlorine. Now, what is the percentage of available chlorine? Weight of Cl2 in grams liberated. When 100 grams of the bleaching powder reacted with excess of dilute sulfuric acid or excess of any acid is called percentage of available chlorine. Now, for a good sample of bleaching powder, percentage of available chlorine is 35 to 38 percentage. For a good sample of bleaching powder, percentage of available chlorine is 35 to 38 percentage. So, when 100 grams of good sample of the bleaching powder reacted with excess of dilute sulfuric acid, 35 to 38 grams of chlorine gas will be liberated. Now they may give the problems like this. When 50 grams of 50 grams of good sample of bleaching powder reacted with the excess of dilute sulfuric acid, what is the volume of Cl2 gas at old STP liberated? They may ask like this, 50 grams of bleaching powder is treated with excess of dilute sulfuric acid, good sample of bleaching powder. Now, then you have, we have to know this value. For a good sample of bleaching powder, percentage of available chlorine 35 to 38. So when 100 grams of good sample of bleaching powder reacts with excess of dilute sulfuric acid, 35 to 38 grams Cl2, you, you take it as nearly 35.5 grams of Cl2 liberated. Now this is half mole Cl2 na? half mole Cl2. So half mole Cl2 at old STP occupies how much volume? 11.2 liters volume at, S at STP. Now but in our question they said 50 grams of bleaching powder only. 50 grams of good sample of the bleaching powder. Then how many liters of Cl2 gas at old STP will be liberated? 5.6 liters. 5.6 liters like this. Next. Now, they may give another question like this. 10 grams of bleaching powder. 10 grams of bleaching powder. 10 grams of bleaching powder. Sample. Liberating the, liberating the 0 0.28 0 0.28 liters of liters of uh, Cl2 at STP. 
Cl2 at STP. What is the percentage of available chlorine? Now, 10 grams liberating the 0.28 liters of Cl2 gas at STP. Now, percentage na per 100 grams. 100 grams will liberate how much volume of Cl2? 2.8 liters, 2.8 liters Cl2 at STP. At STP. Now, this 2.8 liters occupies how much? Uh, weight is how much? See, 22.4 liters at STP. At STP, one molecular weight. One molecular weight of chlorine? Chlorine, 71 grams. Now, 2.8 liters at STP. Now, what is the weight of that chlorine? That is 71 by 8. 71 by 8. Now nearly you will get 8.8 to 8.75 grams. So from 100 grams of the bleaching powder, 100 grams of the bleaching powder, 8.875 grams of Cl2 liberated. So percentage of available chlorine is 8.875 percentage like that. Now what are the factors affecting the percentage of available chlorine? Uh, first, open to the moisture air. If you keep it in the open air, then it will absorb moisture. As a result also, percentage of available chlorine will decrease. Next, it will react with the bleaching powder, will react with the Cl2 in the atmospheric air. As a result, CaCO3 and Cl2, already some Cl2 gas liberated. So, for the remaining bleaching powder sample, percentage of available chlorine will decrease. Next, on long standing, see, in that bleaching powder, ClO minus ion is there now. That one, in this way, it will be disproportionate to Cl minus O, ClO minus. So, bleaching powder on long standing, disproportionate to calcium chloride, calcium chloride. These two on reaction with the excess of dilute sulfuric acid cannot liberate chlorine gas. As a result of long standing, percentage of available chlorine of the bleaching powder decreases. Next, impurity. In the bleaching powder, impurities like COCl2 present. Impurities like COCl2 present. Then, it decomposes to calcium chloride and oxygen. As a result also, percentage of available chlorine will decrease. Next, now how to estimate the percentage of available chlorine? Percentage of available chlorine is estimated by idometry titration. Uh, what is that idometry? Let me rub the board. Now come to the estimation. Now, available chlorine of the bleaching powder estimated by idometry titration. In this method, known weight of bleaching powder is mixed with excess of potassium iodide and excess of acetic acid, dilute acetic acid. Then what happens? Now that bleaching powder will react with the acetic acid. Cl2 will be liberated. This liberated Cl2 reacts with the potassium iodide. Then I2 form. So now I2 form on the to this starch indicator added. This iodine with the starch gives blue color. Now it is titrated against hypo solution of known concentration. If you add hypo drop by drop, this iodine will be reduced to sodium iodide. When all the iodine is over, now blue color will convert to colorless. So conversion of blue color to colorless is the end point. Then we have to take the hypo reading. Now how to solve the problem? See, one mole of bleaching powder liberating the one mole of chlorine. This one mole of chlorine liberating one mole of iodine. One mole of iodine reacting with two moles of hypo. So if two moles of hypo is consumed that is equivalent to 1 mole Cl2. If 2 moles hypo consumed that is equivalent to 1 mole Cl2. That 1 mole Cl2 is equivalent to 1 mole bleaching powder. 
So number of moles of Cl2 in that given weight of the bleaching powder sample or number of moles of Cl2 given by that bleaching powder sample will be equal to half of the number of moles of hypo. It is the main point. Number of moles of Cl2 given by that bleaching powder sample is equal to half of the number of moles of hypo consumed. Next. Here in this reaction, sulfur oxidation state plus 2 to 2.5 increased. For each sulfur increase in oxidation number 0.5. For two sulfurs, 1. So, hypo N factor, valency factor is 1. In this titration, hypo valency factor is 1. So, normality and molarity of this hypo solution is equal. Now, let me explain one previous GE advanced question. Previous advanced question. What is that? 25 ml of household bleach solution was mixed with mixed with 30 ml of 0.5 molar potassium iodide and 10 ml of 4 normal acetic acid. In the titration of the liberated I2, 48 ml of 0.25 normal hypo was used to reach the end point. Find the molarity of the household bleach solution. It is the given question. See here, this acetic acid data, potassium iodide data also intentionally they given to mislead you. These two are excess reagents only. Actually no need of this data. But by giving this data also, they try to mislead you. Now here, what is the central idea? Number of moles of bleaching powder or number of moles of chlorine is half of the number of moles of hypo consumed. First, let me calculate the number of millimoles of hypo consumed in this titration. Number of millimoles equal to molarity into volume in milliliter. For hypo, normality molarity equal 0 0.25 into 48 ml, 12 millimoles, 12 millimoles of hypo consumed. If 12 millimoles of hypo consumed, how many millimoles of bleaching powder present in the household bleach? Half of the number of millimoles of hypo, that is 6. But our question is, what is the molarity of the household bleach solution? Molarity equal to number of moles by volume in liter or number of millimoles by volume in milliliter. 6 by 25. So 0 0.24 molar is the molarity of the household bleach solution. It is the given problem. Today topic over. Students, if you like my video, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all my notifications. One more point, students. I given one assignment. For that assignment, Google Drive link I provided at the description of my video. So all of you solve that assignment. Bye students. Again we meet with another new concept.